Hello and welcome to Southbridge. Today, you will learn how to run executable files or exe files using the C programming language. So, to start with, let's include the standard library. So, Let's create our main function. So, to run executable file in Windows using the C programming language, we use the system function. So, this function will have a parameter, a string parameter. So, we will provide the name of the executable file or the directory, the full directory of the executable file. So, for example, we want to run notepad. So, we just type notepad.exe. So, let's try to build our project and let's run it. So, as you can see, our command prompt is running so this is the display of our program and our program calls the notepad executable and run it so our program calls the notepad.exe so we try another one so to find the default exes or the executable files in our system we could go to the local disk C and then Windows then find the system32 folder so in this directory there are executable files so we could call the color management Yes, this is the color management exe. So just type color color cpl color cpl dot exe. So let's build our project and run the project. So our program runs the color management executable. So now if you have an executable file that is not located in the system32 directory, we should provide the full directory of that executable file. So let us terminate our program and uh, I have an executable file here in my downloads folder so let's type exe to find all the executable files located in our download folders so I want to run this just color picker program so you can type C then users then my username is Southbridge then let's type downloads then the name of our executable jcpicker.exe so let's build our project and run so as you can see our program just runs the color picker so that's how you can run an executable file using the C programming language so I hope you learned something today and you can experiment on this parameter you can choose whatever executable file you want to run using the system function and 
I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you.